hi guys welcome back to the php video tutorial and in this php video tutorial we are going to learn how we can create a simple api in the core php without any framework all right so this will be a very simple api and a very easy code so let's take a first question what is the api in a very simple world a api is a kind of program and that will have an output and this output can be used in uh, any kind of front-end application like it can be used in mobile application it can be used in the react and any JavaScript framework also all right so in these days the restful API's are mostly used and rest API always return the JSON format and in this API we will use the post method with the post method we will specifically give a JSON output also all right so you that you can understand the all of the flow all right so now let's start with the code so first of all just I'm going to take a two variable with the dollar uh, info and dollar data all right so these are blank by default so now the API should be the post okay so first of we have to check that uh, is that uh, data which is coming which is a request is a kind of post or not so for that let's check dollar post right and here you can see that uh, dollar info if uh, uh, this is a post kind of request we can write here data it fetched successfully right and in dollar data we will put dollar post right else if this is not kind of post then we will get the old data here and just it will we can uh, right here no data found and here you can write here simply data is not fetched successfully all right and after that what you have to do let's take a variable with the result and the result will have the two keys one is the data and in the data we will be going to use the dollar data and dollar result info and this info also have the dollar info all right now after doing that we just have to convert our data in uh, inside the json format so for that we will use json in code all right and just pass here dollar result here right so everything is fine so now this should be work so now just i op open the postman if you don't have the postman just go to the google and you can write here postman in chrome all right so when just write here you will find an extension you can install it and when you install it let's say just close it uh, uh, when you uh, install it uh, just click on the application in your application you will find that there is a postman okay and now in the postman you just simply have to write um, a request which is the post because we use here post kind of data all right and the post you have to write a url what url we have localhost and um, you can check your folder name uh, I already remember but I want to show you how we can use this so for simply you can just um, go to the where www HTML inside the HTML uh, I have a folder name with the uh, core API which is there all right and here I have the API file so after the local host my path will be like this uh, local host 
core API and here I have the API dot PHP file okay so when I just hit this now you can see that okay the data is fetched successfully but there is a no data why because we return the request that we get and we did not pass anything in the uh, request so for that what we have to do just open the postman and inside the body just write here name like anil and uh, email like anil at the test okay that's enough when you send this now you can see that you got the data here in the return all right because we send here okay so in this data you can uh, put anything like you can pass the data from the database you can pass the data from any your logic or whatever you want okay we will do it in the next video that how we can get the data from the database all right so uh, for that uh, this is the enough information for a basic api if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe our channel like this video thanks guys thanks for watching this